Once I've got an estimate for the shaft diameter, I go into the workspace of a CAD program, and I'm using Fusion 360, and I go ahead and sketch the shaft profile. I mentioned that the worst case bending moment is at 36 inches from the left side of the shaft. So I, 20 inches is gear A, 36 inches, that's bearing B. And so I build a shoulder there into which I can press bearing B. And the size of that shoulder, well, how do I decide on that? I already said that my shaft diameter should be 3.44 inches. So I'm drawing a profile of the shaft, which will be symmetric about the center line of the shaft, so that my shaft radius is half 3.44. I come over 20 inches. I go up 0.86 inches because I'm going, I, I want to change the diameter, the net diameter, so that it's one and a half times the base diameter. I come over another 16 inches and I come down by 0.86, then I go to the end where I have the next gear attached. Now, mind you, there would certainly be a shoulder at the right end and a shoulder at the left end to accommodate the bearing at the left and the gear at the right. But right now, the worst case stress state is at the bearing right here at position 36, where I have the largest bending moment, and between the bearing and between the right gear and the gear at A, I have a constant torque. So my worst case stress state is gonna be right in here. I do the sketch profile and then I rotate that sketch profile. And when I do that, I end up with a shaft that looks something like this. And once I have that shaft, I add fillet radii to it using the Modify tool where I click on Fillet and I add a fillet radius to this step from the shaft up into the shoulder. So I just add a little bit of radius to that to lessen the stress concentration factor. I do the same thing on this side where I have a little fillet radius. And then the other thing that I've done is I've created some locations where I can apply uh, my bearing loads. A location over here, I created an annulus where I can apply my gear loads. I put another one over here where I can apply my gear loads. And I put an annulus way back here when I can apply some constraints. So when I move from the design space into the finite element space, what I have to do is make sure I have all the geometry properly accounted for. I know where I'm going to be applying my loads. I'm going to be applying my Y and K directed loads here, and I'm going to apply a torque. I'm going to have reaction forces in the Y and K at bearing B. I'm going to have reaction forces in Y and K over here at bearing O, and I'm going to have gear forces acting here at gear C. Those are all the things that I have to account for when I move into my FEA space. And we will build a really nice tutorial for you to help you understand how to do all of this. But for now, let's just go ahead over into the simulation space and show you what it is going to look like. So what it's going to look like is you have a shaft where you'll notice that I have some constraints. I, the bearing does not allow it to move in either the Z or the Y direction, but it is allowed to move in the X direction. At this end, I have a pin joint so that it can ro rotate, but it can't move in the X, Y, or Z directions. Then I apply counter moments at the locations where I had the forces. This isn't showing up in the right spot. And I have forces as well associated with those gears. So. You know, everything is as it should be, and then I run a finite element analysis, and when I do that finite element analysis, I get something that looks like this, and that's a hyper-exaggerated deformation, and uh, if I go to some normal deformation, I get something like that, and then I can use that FEA to compare stresses, make absolutely sure 
that my stresses are below the yield strength, with the, which they are, because I can look at the factor of safety against yield, and it certainly shows me that my minimum factor of safety is 2.53. We'll do more of this later. I just wanted to show you where you go once you get your shaft diameter, then you start to cat it up.